so in our today's vlog we are going to deal with the mainly the site of actions of the three common drugs the uh, aspirin non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs and third is the uh, last choice of drug that is the steroids so we are going to deal with the site of action on the enzymes right where do they act and how do they get differentiated on the basis of the site of actions so we'll see where do they act exactly to inhibit the enzyme which finally stops the inflammation so we use those drugs to seize the inflammation or in the fever in the pain right they have multiple uses so these are the three common drugs that is so let us see where do they act and how do they act so in the anti inflammation or the anti inflammatory substances or the drugs that we are seeing that that is the aspirin the anesthetics the, the non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs and thirdly the steroids so the uh, ultimately block the prostaglandin formation right so which are responsible for the rise in fever and other local activities in the tissue or in the systemic uh, manner right so how the aspirin acts right we have already discussed this video just to review it again we can see it acetylates acetylates the cox enzyme that is the cyclooxygenase enzyme here we can see taking the blue pill that is the acetylation of the cox takes place which finally inhibit the prostaglandin right so it inhibits the fever further rise in temperature right so in the second drug like the non steroidal anti inflammatory drug it acts by the covalent binding with the cyclooxygenase enzyme only so the drugs bind covalently thereby the blocking its action so finally leaving the no nil production of the prostaglandin right and thirdly the steroids finally the steroids interface with the production of the arachidonic acid right this is the arachidonic arachidonic acid this is the cell and here is it is the phospholipid bilayer membrane where the phospholipase a2 is formed so actually the phospholipase a2 uh, liberates the arachidonic acid by a uh, enzymatic cascade that we are not discussing here so actually the steroids blocks the phospholipase a2 thereby ultimately blocking the arachidonic acid pathway which ultimately do not uh, uh, give rise to the prostaglandin so it blocks the precursor only the enzymatic precursor only that is the phospholipase a2 thereby no liberation of arachidonic acid takes place which finally blocks entry of the prostaglandin thereby stabilizing the uh, inflammatory mediator so these all three categories we should know how do they act which gives us better insight uh, about the pharmacology i hope you found it useful thank you for viewing this video goodbye